Here's how you can use Audacity's Labels feature to easily break up a large file into multiple separate files, for example, for narration. We start by selecting the track that we want to analyze. Go to Analyze, Label Sounds. We'll talk about these later, but for now, just accept the defaults and hit OK. And you can see it's created a label everywhere where it's found a block of sound. So we can use our selection tool to select that. And you can see those yellow lines show where it snaps to the label. Part one, step one. And it's found that, so we can label that part one. We then repeat this for the rest of them. Part two, step one. Yep, and so part two. Part four, part four. You can hear on that one, I messed it up. So I wanna change the beginning by just dragging that little knob over to where the correct version is. And we'll preview that now. Part four. And that one I have to know is called the end, so we'll just label that. If you wanted to add a label for this section, like maybe you want to include it for some reason, you can just select it and press Control-B to create a new label. That's B as in Bravo. And call it Bad Take. And if I wanted to delete one that, for example, it picked up some background noise that I didn't want, I can just delete that label by right-clicking it and choosing Delete Label. Now that we have all the labels that we want, we can go to File, Export, Export Multiple. And in my case, I'm going to pick MP3 files. And the important part is down here with Split Files Based On. You want to make sure that it says Labels and choose the labeling convention or the naming convention that you want. And then hit Export. You can see it put the label name and the track title and the track number auto increments as you go. Just say OK for each of those, and it's now saved that out into separate files. It's as easy as that. Now let's get into some of the advanced things. You may have noticed when I selected this that there's a little bit of a tail at the beginning and end. It didn't quite get everything that I wanted. So if we select that whole file again, Analyze, Label Sounds, we could change the threshold for what it thinks is silence, but that's going to be a little bit hit or miss, and if you make it more or less sensitive, you're going to, it's going to impact how many extra clips of background noise you end up with. So in this case, we're going to just add a tenth of a second to the beginning and the end and create a new label track. You can see the labels are slightly larger, and when I select that one, it grabbed the tails on there. So it's a lot better. As you can see, we kind of lose that work, so we want to make sure that you do that in the beginning. But for the most part, once you have your sound environment set up and stable, you won't have to change these settings, and it will remember it between uh, times that you open it. So another fancy trick that we can do in here, in addition to adjusting the noise threshold, uh, you can change the silent duration. So if you want to have a longer pause uh, or a shorter pause between labels, you can set that there. And you can also change some stuff here. So point before and after sound, we'll just put a single point label as opposed to selecting the sound area in between your sounds. Um, and another interesting one is the region between sounds is rather than selecting the sound itself, it's going to select the silence areas. And that could be useful for uh, deleting the silence. You can select that label track. You can go to Edit, Labeled Audio, and then split delete. Now all of your silences are gone and these are uh, nice easy clips to move around or do whatever you want with. Or if you just want to shrink them all down, you can use labeled audio delete. And now it compresses them all down, the silences are gone. I've been using the mouse to navigate, but if you want to navigate with the keyboard, you can do that with the labels too. There's just a few things you need to know. You can click on your label track and use tab to move between labels. The problem is if I hit spacebar to start playing, I just add a space to the label name. So I need to use the up arrow key to change the track back. Part one, step one. And then the down arrow key, and I can move to the next label. Part two, 
step one, step two, down, tab, up, space, four, down, and shift tab moves back and forth. Finally, if you need to fine tune the labels, you can select the label track you want, go to edit, labels, edit labels, and either edit all the names manually or the start or ending times. That's it. Thanks for watching.